Hey everybody, welcome to the Apple Ninja. Today we're gonna do an in-depth homebrew tutorial. Homebrew is a, an awesome package manager that you can use to install command line utilities and frameworks along with GUI applications like Chrome and Firefox and Atom and things like that. I'm gonna talk about some security concerns and we're just gonna dig in. So all right, let's get this done. First things first, we need to open up a terminal. So command spacebar terminal, open it up, command plus to blow that guy up. And stretch it out. Then I wanna open up Safari. I'm gonna to go to brew.sh and that is the home brew page. I'm gonna copy this line and bring it over to the terminal. Command paste, command V, hit return. I'm gonna enter the password for my administrative account. It's telling me what it's gonna install and modify. I'm gonna hit return, let it go through. Boom. All right, so that took about eight, nine minutes to update and install Homebrew, install the command line uh, tools that we needed. So we're just gonna type in brew and config to take a look at the config. And it's gonna show us a bunch of information. Within Homebrew, you have two things that you're really installing. You're installing formulas and you're installing Cask and formulas are the command line utilities and frameworks like SQL and Git and things of that nature. Uh, a different version of grep maybe or something like that. Uh, the CAS are going to be like GUI applications like Firefox, Chrome, and Atom. So you can install any one of these. Just we're going to do some searching and take a look and type in brew search and this is going to show me all of the formula and cast out there if i want to see how many there are i just do brew search word count space minus l and that's going to give me a number 5202 uh, is how many applications and utilities and frameworks we can install from here. So if I wanted to do brew search um, fire and just see if I can find Firefox. Um, oh, so it shows us the, the formula, but it's not showing us the cast. So what we would do is we would do brew uh, cast info fire and so what you're noticing because this is a brand new install it initially taps the homebrew formula um, area or location I should say the github location right now it's tapping the homebrew cask location which means when I rerun that first search and I do brew search fire it will show me the cast as well right it, because it didn't have the cast in the list that's why I was kind of surprised when I was like oh so we'll just let this finish up We're going to get into tapping further in this session as well. All right, so now you're going to notice uh, right away. And now that I did that search, you're going to see that Firefox uh, is in here. Right, so now if I were to arrow up and do brew search fire, you're going to see it come up because now we have that cask location set up. See, it doesn't show any for formulae, but it does for the cask. So that's a quick and easy way to search for different things. If we go back to the web page, 
on homebrew you can scroll down and you're going to have this further documentation that's going to show you all sorts of good stuff but if we scroll down to homebrew packages and i open up a new tab if i want to look at all the formula and cast that i can download and it'll give me an idea of what it does but if i you know let's say I'm just wondering about this ADNS. I go back to brew and I just say brew info ADNS. And it tells me exactly what that item is. I can do uh, a search on, you know, and grab info on a cask as well. So if I say brew cask info. Uh, Firefox it's gonna tell me all the information about that um, let's do brew so I'm gonna arrow up I'm gonna do brew info get and I want you to notice here you got this dependent the dependencies these two dependencies will get installed when I install Git. So let's install Git. <clears throat> uh, actually, I wanna show you something. If I type in brew home Git, it's gonna open up the web page to the location that it's getting this from, which is pretty slick. So you can do that for CAS and for formulas um, so let's uh, let's install git so we're gonna do brew install git awesome so now I've got git installed if I do brew list this will show me the items that I have installed I have git and I have the two dependencies if I arrow up and I type in dash dash version, I can see the version of those. But what you're gonna notice is this brew list doesn't show me the cast that I installed. So let's install an application with this. So let's do brew cast install. And I wanna install the Atom application. It's pretty cool. Awesome. So now if I do a command space bar and type in Adam, you can see that it's installed. Boom. Sweet. So now I've got that installed. I'm gonna quit out of there. Arrow up and do CAS list versions. And that's gonna show me the CAS that I have installed. So you can kind of notice that the formula and the CAS are in set separate almost containers and their access different ways is I want to show you how to keep these things updated because they're not constantly updated we have their um, they're not updated so you need to take care of that um, so what we're gonna do is you can type in brew outdated brew outdated allows you to see if any of your formula or cast are in need of new versions so then if you want to upgrade them all you just type in brew upgrade and it's going to run through and it's going to upgrade anything that needs to be upgraded right um, if you need to separate that out maybe you have some different things that you don't want to be updated you can do it separately and just do brew upgrade and let's just say i wanted to upgrade git or I wanted to upgrade Adam because I know it had one. So I could just type that in, hit return, and it would upgrade just that piece of software. All right, so after update, updating all your apps and all these things, older versions are still going to exist. Those do get cleaned up after 30 days by default, but or every 30 days, I should say. But... If you want to clean it up now and right away, you just type in brew 
clean up and that will get rid of all that old apps and stuff but you might not want to because you might want to actually use one of those so this is one of those things note that it's automatically done after 30 days or you can just run it right away after you've updated your apps so if i want to um, update the brew and cask applications i just do brew update and run that and then that will make sure all of my stuff is up to date um, and then if we want to link into another tap taps are locations that i'm getting these applications from you get the first one is the formula lo location so when you first install homebrew like you saw it had the formula tab happen right away then when i went to go access a cask it tapped the cask location but there's third party tabs that you can add so let me just show how to do this brew tab is going to show me our the current tabs that we have in place and if i want to add a tap you can just do brew tap and i want to add done slash emacs because i know that i like his version of emacs he's got a lot of utilities i type this in boom now i'm connected i arrow up a couple of times type in brew tap it shows me that i'm now connected to done emacs so now i can type in brew search and i'm just going to type copy this in and i want to search for what he has to offer and you're going to see that there is a ton of installs that i can do so now if i just want to see what one of these is i just type in brew info And it's going to tell me exactly what that utility does for me, etc. So if I want to install it or what have you. All right. So the next thing, um, if I want to uninstall this stuff, if I want to uninstall a, a formula or a CAS. So it's just, it's super s simple on it. Brew uninstall git. Then, if I want to uninstall Adam, brew uninstall Adam. Now those are removed from my system. And let's say my homebrew setup is messed up somehow. You can type in brew doctor, and that's going to check your brew setup, the basic not with not the cast setup your system is ready to brew so it, it's not finding any issues that it needed to fix you can type in brew cask doctor and it's going to show you all the environment variables and the things that the cast is is loading up etc let's talk about some security concerns so uh, one of the concerns is that this doesn't require root access. I don't need to enter a password when I install an application. I just type in brew install Firefox and it's going to install Firefox, right? There is uh, no password requirement. That is a concern and you should take that very seriously um, because things can get installed without your knowing quite easily uh, with this tool being installed. Um, the other thing to note is that it does change the permissions of some certain folders on your machine. It, so this creates a security vulnerability. I'm actually going to go in depth on the security of this in another video coming up soon. So if you want to check that out, stay tuned. Um, so let's uninstall homebrew from this system go back to 
my homebrew page and I'm going to come up here. I'm going to type in uninstall homebrew and very top it's going to say how do I uninstall. Click on this here and then come down to this. It's this one liner. Copy that. Go back to the terminal. Paste that in. Hit return. Type in yes. Removing homebrew. Enter the password. Boom. It's removed. It has not changed the permissions back to what they may have been for some of these directories and that's kind of part of the security concerns that I will be point, pointing out in my homebrew security discussion video. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video. Got a lot of value out of it. If you have tips and tricks that you want to share with the, the group and the community, feel free to in the comments. You guys have an amazing week. Take care. See you next week.